feels like rendezvous You know what to do Keep your love for me only I get high on you Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's the day we're doing a Fortunato family cook-off between me and my mom. Last Sunday I was at my grandma's house and we chose between five recipe like meal ideas. It was lasagna, fried chicken and waffles, macaroni and cheese, meatballs, and then meatloaf. And fried chicken and waffles won. So we were able to choose kind of any variation of fried chicken and waffles that we wanted to. So I think we both choose two different kinds of recipes. I have no idea what she's making. She doesn't know what I'm making. All we know is we're doing fried chicken and waffles. And then we're inviting my family over to come judge it. So this should be fun. So today we are doing the cook-off and we are doing waffles and chicken, chicken and waffles. And my ingredients, I have eggs, potatoes, garlic, black pepper, lemon, poultry seasoning, garlic salt, paprika, boneless, chicken thighs, chicken tenders, and we're splitting a pack of chicken legs. And I've got flour and I have a secret ingredient that I am not naming as of yet. Okay, what I'm making is I am making um, garlic chicken tenders and waffles. And my waffles are a secret ingredient as well, but I will let you know later in the time. Alrighty, what I'm gonna do is I'm doing Spiral, spiral potatoes with a little bit of drizzle of garlic and butter sauce on top. I think that would be fantastic. Complete fail. So I gotta come up with something else because this just isn't working. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just cutting up the potatoes. I cut, I, I peel the potatoes like a rustic potato, just kind of somewhat peeled. And now I am cutting my potatoes and cubing them. My entire idea, I had to change my idea because my peeler wasn't working. So I needed to come up with plan B. So here's my plan B and I'm gonna cook some bacon and I am going to make a potato maestro, which is kind of like a potato, um, kind of like a home fry. Um, but the Italians let it cook for a really long time, and um, so that's what I'm gonna do. So these are my potatoes. They're just about done. I can stick a fork sorta of in them, which is what I want, because I'm gonna be cooking them in a frying pan. And then here's my bacon. My bacon is cooking up. Here's my maestro, and I've put onion, garlic, salt, and potatoes. And I've cooked up my bacon. So that's that. And there is my bacon waiting for my maestro to get cooked just a little bit more. But I did cook it in the bacon fat. Um, this way it really gets the nice flavor of the bacon. So I'm just gonna leave it alone for now. And that stays like that. Um, Probably for about a good 45 minutes. So we'll check back on it in about 45 minutes. The it's gotta get like brown, uh, like almost like a toasted. The potatoes have to get like almost burnt, but not burnt, but just like a nice toast. So this is the recipe that I chose to follow. It's from girlcarnivore.com called Maple Fried Chicken and Savory Cornbread Waffles. And then I'm gonna add mashed potatoes into the mix because it sounds bomb, so. I'm gonna show you my ingredients. All right, so these are all my ingredients. I'm gonna leave the recipes, both of the recipes, do you have a recipe you followed? Um, in the description bar down below in case you guys wanna check it out. But we have chicken here, we have drumsticks, chicken tenderloins, thighs, more chicken tenderloins, and more thighs. We have so much chicken. <laughs> so for mine, I told you guys I'm making a cornbread style waffle. So we have cornmeal, buttermilk, cayenne pepper, whole milk, whole milk, Garlic powder, black pepper, baking powder, baking soda I have to grab, peanut oil for frying, my potatoes, we've got flour, butter, cheddar cheese, eggs, we have some scallions in here, and we had to get 100% pure maple syrup grade A, so. And there's my waffle maker. Here we go.
Okay, now I'm just gonna let this kind of marinate in here. Now I'm gonna peel and cut my potatoes to make my mash. Hi everybody, it's me back, me back, me back. Hello everybody, it's me. Um, I'm starting to do mine. Um, I am not marinating mine in anything, um, so I'm just gonna start doing my dry ingredients and putting my chicken in and mixing everything all together. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm getting myself set up. I just, I have my cast iron pan and I just put the peanut oil inside. Yes, I had to use Gabrielle's peanut oil. And I've got my two mixes here. I'm gonna get my chicken and I'm going to dip, dip, dip and fry. All right, so now I'm gonna mash my potatoes but I just can't find the hand mixer so we're gonna try to do it with the KitchenAid mixer. Pray for me. All right, so I've added a stick of butter and some salt. I'm now gonna add a little bit of bacon grease, just a little bit for the flavor. And I've added some whole milk. I just gotta let this butter melt down. I've chopped some bacon and scallions. I'm gonna add these to the potatoes. Mashed potatoes are done. They look so good, they taste really good. So now I'm gonna move on to my waffle. So um, I am ready, I have my oil going. 
which is in my cast iron pan. And then I have my two mixes and I have some thighs right now. So what I've done is that they're boneless thighs and I have cut them in half. So I am to put it in the dry mixture and make sure it gets all coated nicely. Shake off the excess and then put it into the wet, which is over here. And then it goes back into the dry. Like that. And then, and then we put it in the oil. Nice. I'm gonna get monster fingers. <laughs> Look how Her chicken beautiful. looks amazing. <laughs> looks awesome. Okay, please don't mind my shirt. It's like filthy. The dogs are playing. Like, it's just, this is a whirlwind. There's not enough space for everyone. So, we're just gonna make. I'm gonna make my coating for my chicken. So, I have a recipe as well, but I'm kind of like adjusting it as I go because the recipe is not for enough. So, it calls for like two cups of flour. I'm just gonna eyeball it, see what I need. One teaspoon of cayenne pepper, not really measure it. That's it for the dry ingredients. Uh, I'm gonna whisk this together. And then it tells me to separate it into two bowls. Okay, and then for the wet ingredients, it calls for two eggs, buttermilk, and maple syrup. I'm cracking my eggs, you can't see, but time is of the essence right now. My mother already has her chicken frying. I'm feeling the pressure. All right, two eggs. Tablespoon of buttermilk, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Okay, and then four tablespoons of maple syrup. Oh no, one tablespoon of maple, one teaspoon of maple syrup. My bad, one teaspoon. Okay, so I'm gonna whisk, whisk this together. I think I'm gonna add one more egg because I have a lot of chicken. This definitely does not seem like enough. I'm gonna separate my flour mixture into two bowls. Okay, so we are done. We are now making our waffles. There's mine. I've got the old fashioned waffle maker. And Gabriella has the awesome waffle maker. I'm stuck. Has the awesome waffle maker that is new and up and behold. I'm not showing it. Oh, okay. There it is. All right. This is my mixture. We didn't have time to film it. We are pressed and stressed. Hey, okay, first taste is out for taste testing. Ha ha ha. So you guys know which one is one and which one is yeah, one. Yeah, number two is with mash. All right, that's all I have. I have no idea, I gotta make more too. That's good, okay, so that's number one. Now you gotta try number two. This one has like a like a nutmeggy spice or something to it. Let's see. Which one did you try? You tried the number one. Okay, I want to try number one too. Those are pretty Let's on point. I like the home fries. The home fries are really good. Anthony, no, you're fine. Okay, now this one. I got mine. Uh, those are... No, you're fine. Cut it out. Try this one now. Go ahead. <laughs> Here we go. I'm nervous. What? Are you nervous? What? Oh. Yeah. I think number two got my vote. Yeah. I Ooh. Mean, it's it's one, two, that's my vote too. I like the breading on it. Huh? With the mash, the mash was a good was a good uh, a good addition with the. I like the chicken. Uh huh. I'll start with Grandma. What do you think? Plate number 
one, the chicken was <laughs> crispy. And when? And plate number two, um, the waffle was exceptional. It was exceptional. And it had awesome mass, mashed potatoes on it. And the chicken was exceptional. So my vote. No, 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 no. 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 Not yet. Just your opinions on each one. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> overall, my opinion is number no, two. No. Yeah. Oh. Just, say that. Just your opinions on each one. It's okay. Oh my okay. God. What okay. don't you get? Thank you're done. you. You're done. Thank, Thank you. you. Next. Okay. So I enjoyed both. Both were really good. Um, number one, I really like the crispiness of the the chicken. I I like the potatoes. They had a lot of pepper, but I liked it. Number two, I liked how I liked the mashed potato and I really liked the waffle with the cornbread thrown in there. That was a really good touch, so hard decision. Okay. Go ahead, Eddie. I number one, the chicken was real crispy, real good. Is that number, what you're gonna say? No, number two, the <laughs> number two the mashed potatoes were good. Okay. But the chicken wasn't really good. Oh wow, that's rude. Okay. Aaron? <laughs> Mom? No, gra go, oh, no, no. Five, no. Go ahead. It's you. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, oh, sorry. I like the chicken number one. Um, I also like the potatoes at number one. I don't know if chicken and waffles are supposed to be like a mix of dinner and breakfast. So I kind of like potatoes the way they were made for breakfast. So I enjoyed it. Number two had some great figures in it, but number one was uh, where I kind of rested in my head. Okay. Okay. Wait. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I liked. I like. I liked number one. I liked number two. They were both excellent. But I like the way the mashed potatoes kind of combined and kind of melded and held everything together, and it was kind of a nice, uh, a nice combination <clears throat> with a little bit of the uh, the syrup on there, the maple syrup. Uh, I've never had chicken waffles before, but they were both excellent. But I thought number two. No, no, no. You're done. <laughs> 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 Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. Okay. I also have never had chicken and waffles, but they both outshined each other in different ways. Number one had really good crunch on it. It reminded me of like a KFC chicken. And the hash browns were also very, very good. There was a nice spice to the hash browns. But number two, and number two, outshine number one in the way that it had like subtle hints of flavor. I tasted like a cayenne in the, in the waffle, which was really good. And the cornbread waffle worked really well as a whole together with everything with the mash and the chicken. They were both very good though. Thank you very much. Very hard to see. Very, very hard to see. Yes, agreed. Okay, Christina, do you wanna say something? No? Not okay. really. <laughs> 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 We were critiquing the entire time you were here. You don't want to say it on camera now? No, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, wait. Okay. Okay. Um, meal one, really good flavor. I really enjoyed the chicken. It had a good crunch, good crisp. The waffle was, the waffle was, was really tasty uh, for meal two. It just... You meal two, give your opinion. You just gotta... Meal two was very southern-like, with the mash and, and the chicken and, and the waffle. It was very fluffy, had a, had great taste to it. I really enjoyed it very much. So thank you for thanks for all your opinions. Thank you. It was great. Eddie, are the votes in? Votes are in. Oh no, what's it? What's the verdict? It was a seven to three action here. Seven to three. Okay. That was me. Thank you. Good job, Claude. Really good. Job. It was exceptional. It was exceptional. Okay. Thank you. Very high quality. Thank you. Oh, now she says. I got her. Oh, good. Oh, nice. Thank you, Christina. Very high quality. That's the one that you want. I want, and I have food on my face, so I'm really winning at life. It was too much for me. It was too light. No, I 